Hi everybody, this is Danny Class. Today we're going to learn how to memorize the fretboard. This is something that will uh, pay off when it comes to learning major scales, chord construction, theory, and just um, really kind of getting you out of the first position of playing only here and uh, learning how to express yourself all up and down the entire fretboard. So we have um, quite a challenge, don't we? Because we've got six strings and we've got, if we're just at the octave, um, you know, 12 frets. And so that's what, 72 places to start memorizing. But um, there is a way to do this and there is some good news because there's patterns and there's repetitions and it is not random, even though perhaps it looks random because it's just kind of this you know, entity of strings and, and frets and such. So what I suggest is working off the the number three, meaning every week memorize where three notes are up and down the fretboard. And by memorize, I mean play them. And by play them, it's probably a good idea to really kind of just drill it into your brain and do maybe 20 times every day, which might seem like a lot, but it goes by pretty quick. So the first step is to get a map of the fretboard or to have a map of where the notes are. Um, I was going to link something, but then I thought, well, there might be some you know, ownership issues and everything. But really, it, this is something where you can just use the internet to your advantage and just type in fretboard of the guitar or guitar fretboard or fretboard map. And you will get um, in, in some form where all the notes are. So. Let's start with, um, I guess we can just start with C only because um, that's part of the C major scale. That's the first note, C. And then um, we'll go through and do the, those first three notes. But if you don't like that, you can really start anywhere. You can start with G sharp, you can start with F sharp, but I'm gonna start with C. Okay, so by memorize, I mean play where all the C's are on the guitar 20 times. So the first one happens to be here at the eighth fret. Now, anytime you play something, immediately say, can I add 12? Add 12 frets, because that's an octave. And then if you can, then you get it again. This one's a little tight because, you know, 12 plus eight is 20. It's, your guitar probably has enough space. Mine's way up here. Does it sound the same? Yes. Okay. Next C is here, first fret on the second string, 12 plus three. 12 plus 1 is 13. Sounds the same. Next C is here, 5th fret, 17, 3rd fret, 15, and then this, remember another pattern, whatever is on the 1st string is always the same on the 6th string. It's just kind of, you know, a peculiar, peculiarity, that's a word, of the guitar in standard concert pitch. So therefore, there's a C here, just as there was here. And then if I get, it kind of breaks up. Okay, so that was one. Do it again. No. It does get easier. It's just tedious. Got to add the 20 up there. Two. And then again, and again, and again, and again, and again, every day, and boom, that's C. Okay, and the next note will be D, and the Ds happen to be here, and there's an open note, which are your friends. There's a D here, that's probably too high to add 20. There's a D here, that's the three, 12 plus three is 15. There's a D here, that's at the seven, so 12 plus seven is 19. Now, there's an open D. Open Ds, open notes are your friends because they're so easy, just open. And then it's zero, 12 plus zero is 12. Oh, uh, D here. And D here, and that's one. And then do that again, 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 and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And then the third note we'll say is, um, what, why don't we say is E, just going off the, uh, the C major scale, right? And then go through all the E's. There's open notes, by the way, in these etc etc so i'll put at least in the description for the video a plan on how to do this um this will not be perhaps the most interesting thing but it really can help you it will pay off in in theory gold <laughs> when it comes to learning other 
um, theoretical concepts because you'll already when you start learning them and start doing fingering you go oh that's where these notes are and the patterns will just start to kind of you know come to you in uh, in your mind and they'll kind of reveal themselves the guitar reveals itself really and it does get easier um, I would say if if you do get bored even with that you could always you know spice it up a little bit so going off the um, going off the E instead of playing it just once you could play it I don't know three times. Well, how about four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I mean, you're still doing the exercise, right? You're just making it a little more fun or a little more musical. It's actually good left hand practice too if you're finger picking. You can find different ways to kind of funk it up. And by the way, remember at frets 5, 7, and especially 12, you have harmonics. So that can also make it interesting. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, useful and helpful. So remember, every week, learn and play. Uh, find, if you want to use it that way, the places of three notes. I would suggest do each one 20 times a day. It might seem like a lot, but it does get quicker. It'll go by uh, fast. Um, as a general rule, if you're um, learning the instrument, I think it's best to practice every day, no matter what, even a little every day, um, as opposed to every three days for like more time, just to kind of make it uh, part of your of your life. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.